Hello, hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft. Running a lot bit late, just a, a cascade of lateness and, <laughs> and all the tired. Uh, so, uh, to, to spare my still wounded fingers, which have also accumulated a couple of additional problems, uh, including where I jab myself with my Impaling 5 X-Acto knife and a couple of new blisters and yeah. So th this is going to be a short one. Just want to go over some uh, some small redstone projects. Uh, a couple of the ones that I built over the weekend. And a uh, build a couple, maybe two more tonight. Uh, hello, Beach Duck. So let's start off with I needed some green dye. So I got this little mini cactus farm going. It, it, it's, it's six cacti. It does not, this does not go quick. Uh, on the other hand, I don't need green dye all that often, so uh, I don't know. I'm, I might still build a proper cactus farm at some point, so that way <laughs> there's plenty of dye for the server. Or, you know, if you actually need cactus, because uh, there's going to be some cactus involved in a farm I want to do when I get a little more time for it. We'll, we'll talk about that when we get there. Next thing is this beautiful project. I needed uh, some more crimson logs and I needed some more warped logs and hand bone mealing the nylium and harvesting the mushrooms was getting, uh, that was getting special. So I put together this little farm right here. Now there's no automated collection other than running around like a madman as the machine runs. Underneath, uh, there, yep, yeah, there we go. Uh, there is a dispenser with some bone meal. It's fed by this little hopper line over here. And the beautiful thing is this clock will pump out bone meal and shift the floor. Everything that grows will get broken as the floor shifts. And because the only, the only nylium that actually matters, like seriously, uh, to do this right, to do this minimally, I only need those two blocks right there, and the rest of this could be dirt for all it matters. Uh, but because me, I wanted to make sure that I, I had half a pad of each. Um, but all that matters is the block that gets bone mealed. So you throw the switch, and eh, all the things grow. <laughs> I mean. Look, look, look at that, look at that, look at that. And turn that off. Let's, uh, oh, and I got tired of trying to manually get a bunch of that other stuff to, to break. That That's there when it turns off, so um, I added, there we go. One more button to the mix. So literally in just those few seconds, I was sitting here talking we we got uh, two almost a half stacks of the crimson roots, two stacks and a little bit of the warped roots, uh, twisting vine, 22 of the warped fungus, and 22 of the crimson fungus. And that was literally just like the short bit that it took to uh, to, st to stand here and explain how this works. It's beautiful. Your basic uh, observer clock. So pull the lever, sticky piston extends. These two look at each other angrily, firing at a redstone pulse very rapidly. That pulse, uh, let's. Boop. So that guy powers this bit of wool, which does three things. That powers this powered rail, which this guy notices and powers that uh, dispenser there which is what causes the stuff to grow. And it also sends a power signal off to either side. And uh, that that's what causes the floor to shift back and forth for each pulse. And, and again, you, you saw how crazy fast that was, like 10, 10 minutes maybe. And, and I had 20, 22 of each of the fungi that I needed. Uh, that made, that made getting these things a lot easier because what I was doing was going to the pad of crimson or nylium and bone meal 
no, no mushrooms, bone meal, no, no mushrooms, and it was taken forever. The other nice thing is you can use this chest to load up more bone meal into the system, and if you don't want the roots, you can also compost them, and they do a very, they compost very nicely. Uh, I'm going to keep these 20, these two. Uh, and that'll also feed some more bone meal back into the system. It is not, it's not 100%, uh, because these guys have like a 90% chance to raise the level up. So, yeah, it, it's not going to be a one-for-one -one completely self-sustaining system. But remember, over here, I got these guys, and I haven't dug into the two double chests of sweet berries yet. Uh, so they've also been producing bone meal, which, uh, you know, I just kind of take and head on over here. There we go. Bone meal problem solved. This basement has become my little experimentation station. Um, like that cactus farm is a temporary deal. It'll get, it'll get moved out into a proper place later. This is just uh, the first run of this. I've seen a lot of other people do a lot of different designs. Uh, I tried not to follow anyone's design, but just understand the principles and work on my own. And that, 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 so this is pretty close to what you'll see a, f a few of them do. Um, I, I already have ideas for improvement. There's definitely, definitely plenty of room for improvement. I, I want to figure out a way to reduce the amount of red stone. It's the redstone dust itself. Uh, since that does, that does cause, that, that's not as uh, server efficient, shall we say. Uh, but that's that's for later. I also would really love to get it to uh, occasionally flush some water across this, <laughs> that, so that way it'll push all the stuff towards me. So literally, all I got to do is stand here, and it'll all get pushed down into a filter system. So there'll be a box of crimson, a box of warp, and then everything else will get fed back in for bone meal into the system. That that's going to take a little more. Hey, accident! How you doing? Off to a late start today. Um, so that's we're gonna do something very, very similar to this in two different places. One of which is over where there's a patch of cornflowers because we need more blue dye, and I definitely want to do something about that. And we're gonna do. The, the warm ocean biome is nearby so I want I want to do a coral farm uh, if you remember I tried to I tried to bone meal some coral and couldn't figure out why it wasn't working over here it's because uh, caffeine deprived me uh, it, that, that only works in uh, warm ocean biomes uh, <clears throat> also you'll notice I moved my entrance I'll get to that in a little bit uh, I've also been playing with rail duplicators uh, I still get kind of wishy-washy on duplicator stuff. This is a bog standard. This is a simpler design than what I've done in the past. And it works amazingly well. Oh, that's right. I got some pigs up there. I was like, what is that noise? Um, <clears throat> you've got a downward-facing observer. So, so the little uh, redstone fart goes up towards the top. And uh, two slime blocks, an observer facing that way, and, and then you just let it go. Like you, you don't even need, you, you don't need a whole bunch of this. You can even do it with honey blocks. The only problem is the honey blocks keep the item collecting on top of the observer. So you may, so I, I may take advantage of that fact when I find a more permanent home for this, because that that might mean that I can uh, I can make this just a smidge more compact uh, I'd also like to set it up so that way there's a couple of chests and once you start pulling rails out of the chest it'll power that up to top off the chest but yep yeah, one for each type of rail uh, literally all you do is flip the lever and watch the rails happen <laughs> uh, that that's been pretty good 
I think I showed the basalt generator a while back. Uh, same, same basic idea. I'd like to find a way to really simplify the redstone down a little bit more for what I've got. I don't know that I've seen anything that is both simpler and handles collection and that kind of stuff. Um, I've seen simpler, but not... Yeah, I, I'll, I'll figure out a better way to explain that in a little uh, at some point. But uh, this is again just a temporary home. Uh, I'm eventually going to build one of these guys uh, that feeds into a blast chamber, so you don't have to worry about pick durability as you're mining out some basalt. Uh, those guys have been fantastic. The bees have been going fantastic. I need to get I need to get cranking on the bigger on the bigger beehive, mostly because I find I'm probably going to need uh, a bunch of honey bottles here in the very near future. <coughs> and that's it for the uh, basement, <laughs> such as it is. I, I moved the the uh, the entrance to the basement here because. Uh, I, well, I still haven't figured out what I want to do with this room. I do know that I want to put a... I want this to be a ginormous room, bigger than that room over there. A smaller balcony up here with stairs that come down on this side and then another stairwell that comes down towards the center and goes into the basement. Uh, that is That is the temporary plan. I've also started clearing out... I walled in this room to be the size match for the one across the hall. Uh, I want to put some. I want to put some of the aquatic farms in here. Like uh, I don't. I don't currently have a kelp farm yet. I don't currently have a sea pickle farm yet. Um, I was thinking about putting together an artisanal pumpkin melon farm for me, but I, I don't. I don't know. Uh, I wouldn't mind putting together a little glowberry farm that doesn't fit with the aquatic theme, but I kind of ran out of space over there. And I'd actually like to put together a glow lichen farm. Um, that's pretty simple because it grows every time you hit it with bone meal. So you can set up the same kind of clock and, uh, and just, uh, yeah, set it up. So that way, every time you shear the glow lichen, it dispenses another bone meal. And keeps going until you run out of bone meal or you stop shearing it. Um, that that would be that would be the way that goes. And glowberries, I, I mean, I'm tempted to do a farm, but honestly, all you got to do is stand uh, stand over to one of these guys and just you know right click some bone meal on it and the, watch the glowberries fall off. So I don't know. I I might still do it just for the principle of the matter. Uh, <clears throat> Also, 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 I, I double checked and saw in multiple places that vines like this, if you do not want them to grow any further than they already are, right click on them with some shears and they will not grow any further. Now that works with these kinds of hanging vines like the crimson, the glowberries, it does not work on vine vines, as I found out when they overtook the wall. Uh, and I replaced it with some glow lichen, because I still wanted something a little more, a little more there. But yeah, so no more ugly string here. Yeah. <laughs> not wax. Snip, snip, snip. Right click with the shears. Uh, I haven't grown a berry in the bottom part yet, because I... I'm worried that if I bone meal that for the berry, it's going to cause it to start growing again. And honestly, that it's not providing any light anyway. So, but yeah, no more, no more, no more odd bit of string hanging in there. Yeah, dangles are not good. Nope. I also got the the mirrored facing porch over there, and this room here is dug out. Well, this one and the space for the room above it. Uh, this side, what I want to do is I want to put a, a big brewing room. Um, yeah, I, I thought you'd like that one. Um, I, I want to set up a freestanding brewing stand, but I also want to do some of the usual 
automated potion stations where I push a button and uh, three potions pop out a minute later and, and I don't have to worry about any of that because I don't I don't use that many like I f a lot of fire resistance but honestly I don't need to brew those we're, we're gonna get so many from the piglin trading that we don't know what to do with um, the night vision I'm definitely using more of these days for for when I work in the nether um, water breathing, it would be nice to have on tap. Slow falling, it would be nice to have on tap. Uh, and I don't know, you know, maybe one or two others, but, um, I need to figure out what I want the floor and walls to be in that room. Cause I, I want it to be industrial, like the furnace room over here, but I don't want it to be the same. I want to give each room its own its own character. Um, so I want something that this floor looks like it should be where all the furnacing and smelting and stuff, you know, goes. Um, I want something that looks like it should be the lab floor where, where, where potions are brewed and that sort of thing. I am tempted to use a combination of the end stone and end brick. Um, yeah, like, some end stone bricks with the occasional end stone block just you know where, where something spilled and pitted the ground or something um i kind of wish you could do mossy end stone too but oh well we we can't get concrete slabs and stairs so i'm not going to hold my breath for mossy end stone bricks um <laughs> sorry that, that was the quiet part that i wasn't supposed to say out loud <clears throat> i'll put those in the uh storage store I, I i need a i need a yeah i need a place to put this it's not a stack of chests in the back of the <laughs> the back of the balcony and oh i put uh i put a roof up i can't remember if i showed that off on the last stream or not or if it was part of the canceled friday stream but i finally got the roof up i am mostly happy with it, it it's a little it's a little empty uh i want to maybe put a giant banner not a not a banner 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 but use wool blocks to make a pixel art banner dangling from the ceiling maybe uh or or maybe a couple of support columns except if i do the support columns they're, they're gonna kind of obstruct the view and make it feel less open no not a bruce banner either uh i don't want to go through that much green dye uh, it, and it's green enough as it is. I was also thinking about maybe making a thick arch up, you know, maybe here between the balcony and the stairs. Uh, may, maybe make it out of the, the warped wood. Um, but I don't know. That That's one of those things that, that's kind of... I'm thinking about it. Yeah, that it's got potential. Although I don't, I didn't leave a lot of space between the balcony and, and the, uh, and the stairwell. So I don't, I don't know how that's going to work unless, unless I just start the arch of support up a little bit further, you know, may, maybe start the arch up here. Um, yeah, I could do a double wide pillar, but I, I, I don't like the single wide pillars. I, this design's kind of growing on me a little bit, but it's definitely not going to scale up to that height. Uh, so, I don't know. That's uh, that's one of those things that, that's just kind of sitting on the back burner. And what I do need to do, though, I need to grab some more bone blocks for the next couple projects. Uh... <laughs> I might have to stop by the skelly spawner for a little bit and pick up some more. <laughs> yeah, I know. Ne I never really thought about that with the with the green lantern. I I just wanted to do. I want. I knew I wanted to do something with the copper, and I kind of like the way that the the copper and the logs and the planks all work together. Um, and, and so that was that was kind of nice. Uh, I might have eight stacks of wool. Do I dare ask why? Uh, you can ask. Okay. 
Uh, it doesn't matter what color the wool is. Um, actually, uh, I just need 42 of each color, so any colors that uh, you can give me 42 of would keep me from having to dye them. Where, where are you at? Uh, currently at the spider farm because I was trying to get the wool, the strings to make wool. I'm coming up. Ah. I also did a little bit of cleanup out here too. I uh, trying to get uh, things back to the uh, closer to the original state. Oh, there he is. Take what you need. And don't forget in the basement, I got the uh, the rails and basalt that you've been looking for. And now that I got the, the cactus farm, it should be easier to get some green, lime green. And I'm about to take care of our blue and cyan problem. That is, uh, that is my next, my next stop. Oh, and don't forget, I got the um, two high flower farms over my base, too. So that, that'll get you all the red, yellow, orange, pink, and uh, magenta you need. And sorry it's taking me so long. I'm trying to only grab exactly what I needed. Uh, pink. Uh, <laughs> green. You, you don't like calling it lime? It's green and dark green? Yeah. This is a nice forest green. Okay. That at least gives me half of what I need, and then... Oh, don't forget, I've got, uh, I've got some coal in there, too, that you could use, too, because... Uh, so the crowd knows we've got a resource pack that lets you uh, use coal to coal and charcoal to make black dye. We got it. Thank you. Oh, yep. Dark. Yeah, I, I just noticed that. Uh, this, this is like when you start talking after the meeting, and you know, all of a sudden it's way later. That derpy puppy. Love them both. <laughs> oh, okay. Somebody already beat me to the sleeping. I did. Okay. Yeah, that that's the downside of not having having my uh bed just chilling on the upstairs porch. Um uh, oh, I need to decorate this too. I don't know what I want to put here. I'm thinking about maybe a couple of benches, you know, on either side of this door. I just I don't I'm not sure what ought to be up there. Okay. Well, let me put that there before I forget. Um, that's the that's the randomness from the Hoglin farm and. It's about to contain more randomness. All right. <laughs> All the randomness. All right, let's let's uh, let's get this show on the road. Off to the north here. We, we did some scouting for a couple of different spots for where we might want to put a flower farm. I probably ought to put one in... Um... I probably ought to put one in the swamp too, because that'll that'll give us easy access to the light blue. Um, all right, let's uh, let's set up shop. Because I don't I don't want one of the patches with the the yellow um, what we call it's uh, dandelions. <laughs> Brain. 
and on junior.exe has experienced an error. Please wait. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Uh, so, we're gonna need the project box. We're gonna need my redstone boxes. We're gonna need the workshop box. So we can grab a crafting table in a stone cutter. Uh, I gotta, I gotta stock up on my workstations too. Uh, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh, I need to grab a shovel. Might as well get some garage blocks while we're at it. I, I'm going to clear out an area, and it looks like this area is nothing but the cornflowers, which, which is what we want. Uh, what is going to be the least effort? That sheep's about to become a banner, and he doesn't know it yet. Maybe he does. <laughs> so th this is pretty much the same basic idea as the Nylium farm and vice versa. Although I guess since this type of farm is technically older, it should be phrased the other way around. But yeah, technicalities. Um, let's double check the flower map here. Gonna need, I'm going to need more than that. Because I think what I want to do is... The nice thing about flowers... Is... The... How to, how to explain this one. The game sets up a flower map so that... Where a flower will grow, it will always grow on that block regardless of elevation. So technically, I don't have to do this farm on the surface. I could dig down into a cave and do it under there. Uh, that part makes no difference. And since there was a, a cornflower on the square, whenever the game decides to grow a flower, like in response to bone meal, it will always be a cornflower. You'll, you'll never randomly get a, a dandelion where a block previously produced a cornflower, or vice versa. And now I've said cornflower enough times, I keep waiting for the Great British Bake Off to come up and, I don't know, say say some comment about baking with cornflowers or some cornflower and starch or something. No? Is that just me? If you please, Mary and Paul would like you to. I, I'm told that we, we should only acknowledge the good version of the show, not the other one. Of course, I keep waiting for Arcadius to chime in on that one, because... Uh, although I think... Technically, I need Reyes for that one. You know, it occurs to me, if Mo Yang is looking for more ideas to uh, work on while avoiding concrete slab stairs and walls, uh, they could set it up so that way grass spreads with bone meal, just like uh, the Nylium and Warp Nylium. <laughs> yeah. I, and I don't, I don't know how the, I don't know if that's the way that works in Bedrock. I know that's the way that works in Java. Uh, I'm inclined to believe that that is the way that it works in Bedrock as well. But I mean, in Bedrock, you can also bone meal a flower and get more of them. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and in Java, you can only bone meal the two high flowers and get one. 
Like, if we want to talk parody, uh, I would love to get Bone Mealing a flower over to Java. And, and so that way, I instead of trying to do this weird, crazy contraption, I could just stand here and bone meal the flower. <laughs> or, or put together one of the smaller machines like I did for the, uh, for the two high flowers. Um... That's, uh, I don't know. I, I, I get it, though. They they got a lot of people working on a lot of different things. So, I, I mean, I complain, but I've also been on the other side of software development projects. So, I, I'm not going to, I'm going to give them a hard time, but not that hard a time. But we also come back to, again, if they, if they want parody, I, I got a few, uh, <laughs> I got some suggestions for things. Everybody focuses on the things that are going to be hard for one community or the other to swallow. Like, how do you, how do you, you know, do you, do you bring quasi connectivity to the bedrock side, uh, a redstone thing, or or do you, or do you turn it off so that way redstone works in Java like it does in bedrock? That that's something that's going to get people arguing for years. Oh, wait, no, they've already been arguing on that one for years. But bone mealing a flower? That, that's a no-brainer. Like, please, please, bring that over. Help us. <laughs> uh, or, or the Java people with the whole offhand thing. Or, the, I'm sorry, the Bedrock people with the whole offhand thing. Like, could, 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 we, could we get parity on that feature? I, I'm pretty sure they would love to use their offhand for more than, what, holding a shield? Or no, is that is that something that's going to be fixed soon, or has been fixed recently? And I'm I'm behind the times. <laughs> oh, okay. Shields, totems, and rockets, but you can't fly with that rocket. Uh <laughs> yeah, yeah. That that's that, There's a there's another parody thing that would be really helpful for all parties involved. Uh, you know, I mean, look, look at me right now with the food in my offhand. That that's a great way to free up the the bar for you know useful things like the grass and bone meal and tools and whatnot. Oh, you can do a crossbow offhand. Oh yeah, yeah. And I saw docs for extra inventory slots. I I. Man, with Doc, it's one of those things that I'm never entirely sure when he's being honest and when he's trolling us with that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? Because he does have a long history of trolling the community with things that are, are uh, not, yeah, not quite, I mean... No. <laughs> yeah, that or Doc. Like, like he's definitely. Yeah, you know, there there have been times that he's played fast and loose with a few with a few things that it's like some of them. Thankfully, I I knew that he was pulling her leg when he did that, and then there have been other times that. Yeah, I've been caught by it. Like, okay. Fooled me. I learned. No more going to fetch a bucket of steam for me. <laughs> Although I'm sure we could get medic started on... Uh Navy hazing things and stuff stuff you do to the new recruits to, to just to have fun with them. Yeah, you don't want me to do that. <laughs> well, especially since uh, hearing my stepfather talk about the Marine Corps ones, we'd probably run out of the family-friendly ones a little quicker than anybody would want to. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. 
I still need to get a chicken farm going. Not for any good reason, just to get a chicken farm going. You know what, we, what other farm we need? What? We need a daggone cactus farm, because I am out of green. Uh, head down to my basement. I got a small cactus farm going there. There, there should be there should be two stacks of uh, of cacti there. How do you get to your basement? Uh, go through the back. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. That work. Oh, the cactus farm. Yeah. I mean, it's not much for now, but, uh, it'll do. Oh, right. that's right, I gotta cook it. <laughs> yeah. There, there's a furnace array on the main floor just, <laughs> just off to the right as you go with the door. It's got a double chest full of lava buckets, so, uh, it should, it should handle all right. Uh, I was getting ready to do something. Uh, oh, alright, I need... Nope. I need pistons. I need a dispenser. I'm gonna need... I don't know how many observers. I'm gonna need at least one chest. Some wool. Probably some repeaters. Uh... I'm going to need some dust and oh, where's the hoppers? Do, do, do I not have any hoppers? I do not have any hoppers. All right. uh, I might have some hoppers. Uh, I got, I got all the raw goods right here. I, I just started carrying a box full of raw goods, so it's like three stacks of cobble, three stacks of stone, iron, wood. Um, I got to work on building up my redstone dust supplies in here, too. But for just such an occasion. Still need to get a proper tree farm of some sort going. That'll do for now. I'm sure I'm going to go through more than 32 hoppers before too long anyway. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. Alright, let's, uh, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. I forget. Oh, that's what I wanted to check out. That's why I had the bone meal in my hand. Alright. I swear. My brain today. Because if I hit the bone meal in the middle, that's going to go out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ish. Maybe, maybe a little bit further. So let's put out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's go ahead and just go for a nine wide. Now, I know that there's a bajillion and two tutorials on this, all with various variations in the design. Uh, much like with the, the wart and all that, I'm going to try and just uh, wing this one on my own. That, that is one of my goals, is to get to the point where, where I start building more of these on my own, as it were. That's what I'm... I'm currently working on myself. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to redstone my way through <laughs> something. <laughs> I mean, uh, don't don't hear what I'm not saying. I love some of those tutorials. Uh, I will absolutely follow them. Uh, I just I can't believe I filled all that in when I did. I didn't need to fill all that in. Um, my brain. So, 
We'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. And I'll need an extra space for that. Yeah, I, I love the tutorials. I do, you know, I plan on making a couple. Like, I still need to do that one from our sheep farm from uh, Season 1. Uh, not that not that it's uh, that extraordinarily amazing, but it definitely gives a unique twist on it. And again, I, I want to I work on my own ability to explain and build that sort of thing. Um, I also can't help but notice that um, it's raining a lot more than it used to. <laughs> Alright. So if that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, an empty space. Alright. Alright. Okay. And let me clear this out from here for now. And the idea is pretty much going to be the same. Um, you're in my way. <laughs> he actually ran. got like five or six boxes over here. How, how can I not find the box I'm looking for? That, that's... <laughs> this is not the box you're looking for. I'm sorry. Your component is in another box. <laughs> right, so we're going to build up the platform. Although... Before I go too far in that, I need to remember to put the dispenser down. There's one, two, three, four, five, right? Two, three, five, two, three, four, five. Start pulling some hoppers. I'll uh, I'll upgrade this design later. As soon as I figure out the best way to do some of the automatic collection, uh, I'm gonna want a chest there ish. Actually. Just there ish, because this should go there. Right. I also wouldn't mind putting a uh, putting a fence around this. <laughs> keep the keep the sheep from wandering in. Spain falls mainly on the plane or something like that. I can start getting rid of these wheat seeds now. Where's where's all the other? There we go. 
unfortunately, the wheat seeds don't compost as readily as uh, some of the other stuff. And we'll throw... Right, let some bone meal start trickling in there. Now here's the question. Do I want to try to set this up? So more of the redstone is underneath. Target blocks, because target blocks would actually maybe help me tighten this up just a smidge. Hmm. Hmm. Let's try this. I remember to light this up. <laughs> I'll uh, I'll do the prettification later too. it doing is trying to find a way to put some of the redstone that I had off to the side a little bit a little bit tighter in underneath the farm that helps reduce the sprawl and it means that I can probably accomplish the same thing with a little less redstone dust uh, that that tends to cause um, all sorts of various lag issues um, so any, any time that you can, uh, cut back on dust when you don't need dust, it, it definitely, definitely helps out. Alright, so what I need... Let's go ahead and put a few more... Sound like beach duck. What do you mean? Or is this going to be something about dusting? Oh, God. <laughs> okay. All right. I see how it's going to be. All right. Let me get a sticky piston, a lever. And what I might do is take one observer, face it. All right, my initial thought was to put it here, but facing the other way, which works in the sense that when the hopper, when, when the hopper, when the uh, observer clock gets going, he's gonna power the dispenser but that means that when this guy gets pushed forward, um, he's also going to power the hoppers, which is going to cause problems for the bone meal resupply. So maybe... We could do that. Of course you did. And I guess we'll do it like that. And I'll need a space block. And that'll go there. And the lever will go there. So the lever is not too far underneath the platform. So 
when you flick that, that'll push this guy in front of here. That'll power the dispenser. And then I want to find a way to make these guys powered a little bit, a little bit more efficiently. Um, I had run wool blocks over the top with redstone dust, which, I mean, it works, but... Mm. Um, that's right. I was going to look for target blocks. I need... Is there a target nearby? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I I've got some I got some uh, wheat bales in a random chest somewhere in my base. Uh, I need a helicopter landing pad, like somewhere, somewhere <laughs> hit a button and open up a, a a door to fly in through the roof. W would that be too much? That feels like it might be too much. I mean, I guess note blocks would work too, but no, no, note blocks wouldn't because you got to power them directly. The target blocks, however, will hook right on up to, uh, right on up to, uh, to the redstone dust, which I'd still like to cut back on. over here. And some extra target locks for later. Because it's not like I won't need those again. I'm good on the regular pistons for now. Nope, 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 nope. Wrong. So, what I could do. Hmm. What could I do? thousand redstone devices begins with the first block. Um, did I really forget to put that grass in there? Alright, All right, let's think about this. Uh, ra powered rails are a good way to Move signal. Like, I could actually have a row of observers and then just something that powers a line of rail in front of them on either side. Matter of fact, uh, this side could just be powered by this guy. Just need to worry about this side here. Hmm. That's an option. I could try that. Uh, I might need more observers though. I have just barely enough observers. I guess I'll be crafting up another stack of observers next chance I get. to go through them pretty quick too. I 
know they're not facing the right direction. That's why. Is it in my toolbox? There's my wrench. That's why I love that they have this. I kind of... Oh. <laughs> All right. powered by by the lever by the lever which means that will never that will never pulse ah hmm hmm Um, I could drop a line back on the other side, but one of my objectives with this next iteration is to try to find a way to uh, pack it down a little bit tighter. Because the, the last time I, I just ran wool on the outside and ran some redstone dust across the back, and that works. But I'm kind of trying to figure out ways to ways to pack it in just a little bit tighter this go round. Um, I mean, I can always go and do this too. Get on observer watching that. And then go. Go, ah, I'm trapped in my own redstone device. <laughs> Oh yeah, okay. Just trying to cut down on the amount of redstone dust needed too. But uh Is it moving it too fast? Because the dispenser doesn't seem to be firing at all. Did did I did I make it go too fast? Well, that's not good. <laughs> I mean, I want a fast farm, but not like you know so fast it doesn't work. Which is weird, cause oh no, 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 cause uh, hmm. all right. Where might the problem be? Let, let's try simple. Let's just put a redstone dust there. See how that works. Yeah. Ooh. I could do that. That is an option. All right, let me let me start. Uh, let, let me see if I, I solve this part of the problem, though. There we go. 
loud, so loud. <laughs> Yikes. Let me out. <laughs> exactly. Although, how, how many flowers did that get me? Just, uh... Oh. Oh, isn't that beautiful? You love to see it. <laughs> Is it all, only blue flowers, though? Yeah, yeah, that's why I picked this area, is for the blue flowers, because that's one of the things that we desperately need uh, more of. Gotcha. So, I mean, we got plenty of red, yellow, pink, magenta, which gets, uh, which between them we can get most of the other dyes. Like, uh, let, me, let me get my color chart. Uh, there we go. So, I mean, when we're looking at the color chart, we got plenty of white from the skeleton farm and the mob farm. Uh, we can get plenty of black dye from the coal and charcoal because of the extra recipe we added. And because we can get plenty of black, that means we can get our gray and red. Brown, we got to get from the cocoa beans. That's the only way to get that. Uh, so I'll have to I'll have to do a cocoa bean dealio at some point. That's not just a manual. A couple of cocoa bean poles, something with a little more, little more automation to it. Red, orange, yellow. We got the lime. We now have between the cactus farm and the bone meal. Uh, the cyan we now have from the corn flower and the cactus. Same for the light blue and blue. Purple is just going to be red and blue. And uh, magenta and pink we have from the Too High Flower Farm. So, I mean, other than finding, you know, getting, uh, may maybe getting an automated smelter of some sort for green dye. Um, and, and getting some sort of charcoal farm going for black. That, that, and, uh, and the cocoa, that, that pretty much covers all the colors. The, the main reason why we'd want more more flowers is for the flowers themselves. Now, having said that, uh, I was thinking about setting up another small one over that way a little bit more. Because I think there was a field of oxidaisies or something. Yeah, somewhere, somewhere like over here where there's a, a mess of these guys that all give... Uh, is it light gray? Yeah, the Oxidaisy gives light gray, and you can use it to make those banner patterns. And the these guys also give light gray. So maybe set one up over here, and that would take care of our light gray needs. Easy. But when you stop and think about what colors we use the most... Uh, <laughs> Blue is one of the big ones. Noise like light. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know that the wool actually makes it quieter. It just blocks the skulk from noticing, if I am understanding correctly. And that that is a big if. Don't <laughs> don't misunderstand me on that one. Um, I think what I might. Do though is uh, let's uh, go ahead and make a stack of blue. <laughs> That's glorious. Uh, let's let's. Let's see if we can pack this down now, now that we know that it works. All right. Uh, what is the tool that's better better for pulling down uh, target blocks? Probably going to be a hoe, isn't it? Uh, 
Oh, wait, no. No, I can't use the slime blocks. The, uh, the push limit. That's way more than 13 blocks for the push limit. Darn it. I was getting kind of excited about that. Oh. <laughs> All right, that's fine. That's fine. This is fine. I thought I missed one. That's all right. This works. Still, that's, uh, that's, oh, that's right. I was going to put some glass, uh, I know that's technically reducing where stuff can grow, but, um, I'm trying to keep stuff from falling down in the ground and then, uh, I might be able to put a prettier building around all this. <laughs> Matter of fact. Go ahead and fill this in. Because that's just wasted space. Oh, light, 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 light. Before I forget. Let's get that put away. Let's get... Blue glass put away. Let's get the wool. And that. And those guys. Where's my die kit? Get the blue put away. Toss that in my junk box as, <laughs> as about as orderly as the title. Uh, yeah, I, I've worked in places where that kind of stuff was a thing. And I'll get that organized in a little bit. Um, all right, let's get the lever out just a little bit more. Because I could. Do that. And then... And knowing that... Oh, there we go. I got stairs. That means that I can also put uh, some stairs here. Oh. <laughs> if I can space them out correctly. There we go. Put those to good use. No good reason. I, I just, I wanted that out of the box. So now we get our way up here. All right, somebody can let Reyes know that uh, all she needs to do is uh, bring, bring your own bone meal and uh, <laughs> the blue dye shall flow. I'm sitting here messing with this redstone, all of a sudden I start hearing in my ear your redstone going off, and I thought it was mine. I'm running around going, what in the world? What did I do wrong? Oh, uh, sorry. You got to admit, that is funny. It was. I mean, yeah, at some point I 
definitely want to get it set up so that way every now and again it pauses and uh, lets loose a water, water stream to push everything into a hopper line up front. Uh, I'm going to have to make it shorter than 9 deep though because the water is only going to flow 8-ish um, depending on how it's set up. Alright, cool. Mini Project 1 accomplished. Now for the cleaning up. <laughs> yeah, basically, the idea is to do to do the same the same general idea, but we're going to do it in a warm ocean in a water tank so that we can get um, so that way we can get coral. Because I, I wanted to get some coral blocks for a project and I did not want to keep uh, killing all the coral. We've got a custom crafting recipe loaded up so that way four coral will make a coral block. Um, sorry, I had to think about where everything goes there. It's something that I meant to do not not last season skyblock but in season 1 but the uh, <laughs> the the nearest the nearest warm ocean was not near not even a little bit let's see i was short something before i get in on that no yes no i'm short rockets is what i'm short no. Um. Oh, you're gonna be so proud of me. Why? You'll see. Uh oh. What are you working on? Uh, a temp temporary sheep farm. Ah. <laughs> why? Why? Why you gotta say it like that? I don't know how temporary it's gonna be. <laughs> Uh, your secret's safe with me. <laughs> oh, that's okay. It's nowhere near the, near, uh, I anywhere where thing, where, where people could get mad. Ah. Okay. Well, that's all that matters, right? Alright. This is doing good. I still gotta get. I still gotta get a couple more layers of uh, of that going. Oh, oh! I almost forgot. Um, I finally got around to playing with Mini HUD. So remember, remember how I was complaining about how there's too much F3 screen on my F3 screen and it takes up too much. If you're running the Fabric Launcher you can install an add-on called Mini HUD. So if you look down in the bottom left corner of my screen, you've got a pared down version of what's on F3. So I've got it down which chunk I'm in, which, I use, which I'm gonna plan on using for trimming the nether when we get to that point. Uh, coordinates, lighting, how many entities are available, and information on the block you're looking at. You, you can add and remove other stuff. Um, one of the nice things is is that there's even a light level setting. Oh, that's what I forgot. I forgot to light up the I forgot to light up my build. <laughs> Let me go do that. I knew I was forgetting something. Sorry, it'll help me show show off what's next anyway. Like <laughs> So this is showing that these blocks are a light level of zero. And it's in yellow, it's in red, so that way you know that that's a problem. We got a lot of problems. Uh, but once I put down the ender chest, the ender chest emits light. So you know that that's at light level 6, 5, 4 on down the line. Um, oh, 
Wait, no, I don't want to put that on the, uh, <laughs> I don't want to hang that on the, on the thing that's going to move. Uh, all right, I guess I'm going to, I guess I'm going to have to put it down on the ground. Just trying not to do that. And I'm lighting up under there for two reasons. Number one, if the light level is high enough, it doesn't trigger lighting updates when the redstone lights up, which is always good. And also, it, it kind of gives a little bit of a buffer for uh, mobs and such. For no good reason, I'll use end rods to light up here. <laughs> So this is a lot better way of checking lighting than what I was using before. Um, is somebody else sleeping or am I going to have to dig out of bed? Uh, no, I can get it. Okay. I, I'm underground so I couldn't see anything. <clears throat> okay. Okay. So you got the you got the lighting part of the HUD and it'll be a little easier to show at the farm. Which I need to get back to anyway, because I need to go to the uh go to the nether roof to travel to our warm ocean. Please wait. Traveling. So there's a few things you can do. Um, so there, there's all sorts of tool tips that you can add on. Uh, some of these only work with a server side modification, but one of the more interesting one is, is shapes. So you can set a spawning spear sphere and based off of here it shows you where things can spawn based on where you're standing so if I'm standing on top of that glowstone in the AFK box you'll see that the only places mobs can spawn are in the mob proofed uh, sugarcane farm, so that's not an issue. On the nether portal, that's lit up, so that's not an issue. And more importantly, down here in the farm. And the sphere around the player upon which mobs will spawn stops a couple of blocks above the water. So you don't have to worry about drown spawning in the water while you're AFK up there. And this is really useful for figuring out stuff like this where you want to make sure that you've built it. So you can figure out, uh, you know, to make sure that you, you've uh, cleared out your appropriate AFK spot. Hacks. <laughs> no, I'm staying away from the more hacky aspects of it because you can also feed it your world seed and it'll highlight the slime chunks and some other stuff like that. Not, not doing that one. You know, maybe if I'm building a tutorial because I've come up with a new and innovative way of building a slime farm. Tango did which? The the seed? Because I thought that was Doc that did that. And I was kind of surprised that he made use of that because it seemed like the goal was to... Oh, I should probably have gold on. Um, of course, the second I open up a chest to grab gold, he's going to get bad at me anyway, so... He's going to be mad at me, you know what? 
Yeah, he was shooting at me earlier. Yeah, I, I, I keep forgetting that he's there. I still need to get seven of his brothers. So that way I can get that project started. Yeah, I haven't seen Tango's latest video, so uh, I'll probably catch up on that reference tomorrow. Uh, ooh, 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 wrong side of the portal. <laughs> Somebody got out of the wrong side of the portal. Maybe I should put something on the back of that so that way you don't have that problem. It's an Arcadius. Yeah, we, we've been working on this desert and trying to help each other get, uh, like, no, 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 you should go to this desert. No, 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 you should go to this desert. I've been digging from the top of that mountain down here. He's been working on the same desert just from over here. So we, we've been we've been working on the same, on pillaging the same desert. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I, I went and started harvesting some coral. I flew to the other side of the reef. On the one hand, there's a ton of coral reef over there. So it's not like, it's not like we're, I'd like to say that there's no way we're going to, we're going to kill all of this in one go, but you know, I don't know. Stranger things have happened, especially since especially when you say oh yeah we're not going to whatever that that's usually a sure sign that you're going to whatever you just said you're not going to do um i need some blocks uh to build with so i'll get some locally harvested sandstone here and then we'll get to we'll get to the next part Although, with Arcadius over here, I don't I don't want to leave my massive shulker boxes. That's how stuff disappears. Oh, he's not over there. He was a second ago. No, he's over here with me now. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Really? Oh no. Well, what was that really for? Did, did he start naming all the sheep Jeb or something? No. They're, they're not all named Dinnerbone? <laughs> I just have one less sheep now. Oh. Uh, did he not walk into the box like he was supposed to? There's some wheat over by the uh, Skelly Farm if you need it to, you know, make another sheep happen. No, I'm holding it, and now, th now they're all running away from me again. Oh. That's way more than I need. Mm. Alright, so yeah, I, I, I don't... And honestly, I just don't I just don't relish the idea of utterly destroying this reef as we go collecting more and more coral. That just doesn't That just doesn't seem right. So I need to make sure that I'm standing in a warm ocean biome. Alright, uh Oh yeah, I, I need to change that so that's not white down there. I just noticed that when you're walking over the sand, you can't really tell what's on there. Um, right. Actually, that, that little cove right there might be perfect. Alright. We're going to deploy... <laughs> Deploy the blocks. And the 
crafting table. There we go. Uh, what else do I need? I need... I need sandstone. My redstone stuff. Um, I might need the toolbox. Um, ah, I'll figure it out as I go. Oh, uh, I need my Xbox. Yeah, <laughs> we're, we're about to see that. Uh... <laughs> oh, I need the rails. That's right. I need my rail box. And I'm going to need to make a... Uh, I'm going to need to make a minecart. Minecart? Your cart. This is going to work in a couple of different ways, and I'm tempted, I'm actually tempted to uh, make the bottom out of coral instead of sandstone, but honestly it doesn't matter, just so long as, uh, oh, uh, there we go. I'm going to need these guys for a minute too. But first, nappity nap. in the warm ocean. Yeah, that's the downside to the sandstone. I was getting ready to say I should be able to get out of that. Might need to make a little dock or a walkway from there or something. All right. So let me think about this. If this is going to be where the railway goes, I'll need that on that end. Fine. Come on. Up. something special. Alright, um... This isn't going to be too close to the water, is it? No. Because I need this to be... four... deep? No. Uh, three or four deep. We'll find out in a minute. You know, let me just make it... Three. That way, I'm either right or pleasantly surprised. All right, so the rail's going to go across here. You're going to reach across this way. 
No, the rail's going to have to go up by one. Um, if I'm putting the redstone there. Because that, if this is the rail level, this would be the level of the bone meal, which means... Nah, I could still make this work. All right. Sorry. Uh, I should probably be thinking out loud. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's go this way. We'll do the same deal here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this will be... the dispenser goes. That dispenser I forgot to put in my inventory. Uh, dispenser. I don't think I need the observers, but I'm going to need two comparators. I'm going to need more dust. I'm going to need... some number of regular rails. <laughs> Thanks for that. I appreciate it. Right. Powered rail, detector rail. Powered rail, detector rail. so much. Or at least it feels that way. It seems that there is a weird bug in the, the sleep mechanics that prevents uh, the sleeping from working, from uh, resetting the weather the way it's supposed to. That's the rail. Uh, oh, okay. I was like, did I forget the dispenser? No, I didn't forget the dispenser. This comparator should be able to read that detector rail through that block, and this still isn't going to work the way I want it to. That's not going to work. the sandstone. It's not like there isn't a full desert full of it just now. Oh! Hello, Mr. Proofer Fish. I do not want to say hello. Maybe maybe for that very reason I, I ought to be building this a little bit higher up out of the water. <laughs> I, I just realized that uh, a surprise guest by Mr. Pufferfish, uh, a surprise appearance by Mr. Pufferfish is not what any of us want. <laughs> says as he keeps building. Where am I missing Blocko? Okay. 
Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Personal space, personal space. Gotcha, gotcha. COVID spacing. We're all on the same page. <laughs> but I guess I don't need the comparator, because, uh... That should... Power that. And I'll put that there for now. Get our dispenser up here. Um... Is that where I want it? No, actually I think I want this one... one block closer? Ah! Well, alright, let, let's... let's try it. And we'll figure it out soon enough. supposed to be below the block or in the block? Yeah, figure out in a minute. I know that if you bone meal an underwater block in a warm ocean biome, that is how you get coral and coral fans. Or that is that is a renewable way to get coral and coral fans. Uh, no, surprisingly enough, the block does not matter. It, you can, you can use any block. I was tempted to use coral anyway, just because, uh, but it, it doesn't, it doesn't actually matter. You can, uh, I think glass might be the only exception, but, uh, I'm not entirely sure about that one, to be honest. And it, what I can't remember... Oh, I can't remember to sleep apparently either. <laughs> what I can't remember is if the dispenser needs to be at the level of the blocks or if like the other two farms it can be below the block and still and still work. So that that's what we're gonna find out right now. Um I need I need a brain. I need all that bone meal I stuffed in this project box. Actually, let's just go ahead and grab. Because that should be enough to fill one dispenser completely. I still need to get a line of... I could do that, couldn't I? That would solve both problems. Hang on. Let me get a dropper. Um... Because what I can do... is put a dropper first and then the dispenser and that way when that gets powered that's going to power the dropper which will push an item up into the dispenser and power the dispenser and that means i can get more bone meal in here and uh, i'll be able to uh oh hello mr poofy fish just for just for certainty's sake, because I'm pretty sure just running the redstone dust will will be more than enough. 
I'm going to go ahead and run a repeater from either side into the dispenser. I should probably come through here with uh, with uh, some buckets so I can get to farming axolotls too. Um, no. Alright, so if I was going to knock that out... That wouldn't work. I can't run... Oh, but I know what I can do. Alright. Oh, no, no, no. One too many. There we go. do that that way and do that that way just so that way I don't get any weird effects from running power back the opposite way that means I can now take these hoppers Oop. doing a hopper line like that. Well, let, me, let me go get some composters to <laughs> cover that at least. At least get some of that to be a little more, a little less, a little less bad. Uh, let's get that in there. Nope, not looms. Composters. Or composters, depending on, you know, where you're from. I guess I'll go ahead and get one more slab on either side. That'll complete the walkway. chest got an anvil in here don't I yeah bone meal on the off chance somebody actually reads what it says Bone meal will go in there. It should feed into this system here. I need... This is where the cart's going to go. What was I going to use to... Oh, that's right. Uh... Let me go get... Uh... This will make sense in a minute. Let me go get some stairs. Let me get this rail out of my inventory while I'm at it. Uh, and the composters. I'll put... Other way. So don't need the mini hut either. Nope. Oh no 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 no. That, that's not what I need. I need uh I need slabs, not stairs. Ah bother. And I lost two stairs? No, they're there. Let's 
This will make sense in a minute. Maybe. <laughs> All right. Have fun. I appreciate you coming by to chill. Um, the the basic idea to finish this is to fill this up with water so that way you run in a mine cart. And as the cart pops over the detector rail, it powers this guy for bone meal. You just need a silk touch pick for the, the actual um, coral stuff. Or you can come through with shears and, uh, and pick up seagrass that way. Unfortunately, you can't do both. And I just realized that I do, I do think I want this over one more. So it's two on either side. Although, I guess there's a quick way to find that out. If I'm standing here... Yeah. Yep. So this needs to come across one more. Probably should have used something sturdier than sandstone, though. As I get to this phase of the build. <laughs> Oh, well. Oh, well. Because I'm going to need two blocks worth of... Oh, and I'm going to have to put signs on the other side of this so that way the water doesn't flow over the rail. Um, don't let me forget that. Because uh, that's going to be one block of water, two block of water, and then it's going to flow forward. Okay. That one is not actually doing anything useful. These are going to be the ones doing the collecting. Because I've got two water sources and then a flowing water. But first, I need to make nine signs before I make a big mistake. And then I'll probably slab over the top just to keep it safe. Uh, matter of fact, let's, um, let's at least cap this now before something unfortunate happens. <laughs> oh, 
There we go. Alright, nine. Nine signs, and then the ice. Let me get the redstone dust put away, the hoppers put away. There's room, I'll get the, <laughs> the sandstone put away. signs. Get that in there. I'll do something with the stick later. Let's get the bone meal in there. So that can start feeding up. Uh, and then... Maybe you should type on all these if you can read this you're on the wrong side of the farm. Sandstone slabs. And you'll see why in just a minute. There we go. There's my two high water. And what I'm going to do is I am going to top slab over the water so that does not destroy the water source. I thought I brought more water with me. So that block is still a water source, but when I... When I get the water going over here, Instead of meeting up with some of the other water over there, it becomes a row of flowing water flowing here. So as items float to the top, they should 
in theory at least, end up over in the uh, the hoppers. Although I'm noticing some stuff falling on the tracks, which is weird. shall we? So I want to power this, hop in the cart, and then we'll just start it going. Oh, I'm not reaching that one at the back. Okay, so maybe I did make it a little too large. Everything else is working. That's what I get for building it out of sandstone. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, a lot of that, a lot of that, a lot more of that ended up in my inventory than I was expecting. But still, I mean, for that little bit, we we got some coral, coral fans, the fire coral and coral fans, the horn coral and coral fans, the brain coral and f and fans, and yeah. That's just with what, a couple of seconds of running back and forth across, and that's still not counting what, what actually got collected in the system like it was supposed to. The other nice thing is that you can come across this with... Um, with shears if what you need is the seagrass so if, you know if you're breeding turtles or something like that let me get some lights to to keep that lit up that's still not bad all right i will definitely need to replace the floor with something a little more durable than sandstone that that's not that, that's not going to work out at all uh matter of fact since I want it to be pick resistant. Now I'm starting to sound like an extra on a lock picking lawyer. I'm making it pick resistant. Um, I might go ahead and take some of the some of the lumber and replace the floor with lumber. Because then it's not as likely to break with the pick as uh, I mean, I can always make it out of iron blocks too. I guess the other question is, do I still want to keep that four wide? Hmm. I'll have to think about that. I guess I'll have to, uh, Clear out that, uh, 
Oh, I didn't just wash away redstone, did I? I think I did. All right. All right. Now I know I did. What was that noise? Oh, okay. That's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Missed the giant water bucket? Of course I did. So, there we go. At least four more planks. And a walkway. and uh, make this prettier later. But I will definitely light it up tonight. <laughs> Alright, there's more of that sandstone. There we go. sandstone. I just hate how easy it breaks. Catch it? Nope, there it is. All right, let's uh, let's see how that goes. problem is that I need to... No. No. The problem's reach. Still, this is a lot easier than trying to 
deep water dive coral. <laughs> I just, I, for some reason, I really thought that four deep would have been good enough. Hmm. Uh, what I might do then is I might come back and revisit this. And when I adjust it, I'll make it longer, but one block shallower. Oh, stop! <laughs> there we go. Uh-oh. I think Jeff is trying to tell me it's his favorite time of day. <laughs> well, I guess technically that would make it his second favorite time of day. Alright, um... Let's pack this up. That's not bad, though. That That's still two small farms done done and dusted, so to speak. That's that's not a bad amount of coral for just a little bit of work, too. And like I said, we got a custom crafting recipe, so as long as you've got four of the coral, you can make the coral blocks. Which means we no longer have to worry about completely um, obliterating um, an entire an entire biome just for just for the blocks. Which is pretty nice. that this I'm missing a box what box went there oh no it was my ice box okay I'm not missing a box yeah the tired is definitely real not bad though. oh oh lights 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 how could I forget the lights I did not realize it was already 930 yeah yeah on top of it being 930 uh uh, like I have, I've been averaging about six hours of sleep at night, and it is, uh, it is most definitely taking its toll. Definitely have to come back later and make this look prettier. Um, but that'll do for now. Uh, let's put that away in there. Let's get that away in there. I did not end up pulling anything out of there. I'll check the lighting levels another day, probably when I go fix the build. Because you can you can make that that track longer and pop up more than one dispenser in there too. That is the nice thing about that design. I, I definitely want to make it out of put some more durable materials in there though. Uh, all right, let's flee the desert. That's about to become uh, <laughs> a, a not safe place to be. And let's go to the Nether instead. I, I never thought I'd say that the Nether was going to be safer, but uh, here we are.
All right. Uh, let's. Yeah, I'll, I'll do the sign out here, and I'll I'll meander my way back home. I keep intending to ask Reyes to uh, to come and make this path a little bit uh, straighter, a little less meandery than I managed to do. Uh, <laughs> Uh, she she does those things better than I do, clearly, as we can see. All right, let me uh, let, let me hit the credits and say thank you for joining along. I hope you had fun. Tuesdays at 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern. We go live from the Coffee Craft servers. Fridays is a grab bag, depending on what I got going on. But that is also 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern, unless I have another unfortunate meeting with a uh, with the belt sander. I, I hope that doesn't happen. Uh, let's go see who's available for a raid. And then I'll go collapse somewhere. Alright, looks like Beast Lord is playing Babylon's Fall, so I'm going to pop up the title screen and we're going to go raid Beast Lord. Have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time. Stick around for the raid.